Hi, we're going to go over um, a self-dispatch today on your tablets. So you see that we're on the uh, calendar screen right now. The first thing you want to do is go to Explore, go to Location Search, search for the location, include online items, and you'll see that I'm looking for a Wegmans. I found it. Wait for the location to come up. Now we're going to go to actions, not that we're at the location. We are going to create field service work order. So now that we're going to fill in the required information, the required information is the title. We're just going to call this test. The problem description, we're going to call this test as well. Obviously, you're going to put something else in there. The PO number, we'll just put in test again. Make it easy. So those are the things that are required. I'm going to add one more thing on this just to show you. Now, if this is a P1 priority, you might want to change that. Um, Everything else, you'll probably keep the way it is unless you know that there's a different NTE. Um, but the last thing you want to do is uh, site equipment. So what you could do is pick a piece of site equipment from this location. So you can do uh, includes online. We'll wait for it to search. going to give us everything at this location. This is the test location, so all this stuff is uh, not real. So if you're looking at it and thinking something's not right, it probably isn't. So we're going to select one of these pieces of test equipment, and you'll see that the, it shows the site equipment and shows the product, and then we're going to get hit save. We shouldn't have any problems. Yep, save successfully. So now we've created a work order. And this work order, we have the equipment. And most of the time, if you're going to be creating a work order, you're going to know the equipment. So make sure you put it in there. I, I can't think of any times where um, a technician making a work order would not put in equipment. If you could think of one, tell me, but I can't think of one. So uh, make sure you put the equipment in there now. Um, you can put it in later, but it's better to just get it over with when you're creating the work order right off the bat. if possible. Okay, now you'll see actions light up again. So we're on the work order and you know the work order is created because it says 4674. So now we're gonna hit actions and you'll see self-dispatch. If you haven't done this before, this is a new thing. Um, so basically what you're doing is you're going to be dispatching this to yourself like you're a dispatcher. And the way we do that is on the self-dispatch version two screen, you know you're on it, and we're associated with work order 4647. Again, always look at the top middle to see where you are. So we're on the right screen. So we're gonna pick a technician. The technician's most likely gonna be you. So I am logged in as John Cercillo right now. So I am going to go and do that. Um, sometimes you'll also have to include online. If you can't find the, uh, you can't find yourself in the technicians, then uh, use include online. For me, it just popped right up, but that's because I'm on the test system. So that might not be the same for you. Again, always use include online if you can't find something initially. Okay, so you see that I went to schedule date time first. This, this is basically the start time. So we're gonna start today and we're gonna start at 1.43 p.m. Now for the end time, we're gonna click on the plus at the bottom, and then we're gonna click on end time, click done, and then we're gonna to wanna to do it for an hour, let's say. So I moved it to, an, to two, and then you see it went directly to 2.43. So now you'll see a start time, which we did in the other section, and now there's an end time in here. So that's what we're doing, and you also see um, that it says technician uh, John Zersilla. So just another little check you can make. 
So it looks like we have everything. We have the technician, we have a date, we have a scheduled date time, which is basically just the start time. And then we have the end time, which uh, we have done in the scheduled appointment section. So now we're gonna hit save. This is going to now dispatch it to ourselves. At this point, a dispatcher will be able to go into the dispatch console on a computer and see it as well. So you are really dispatching this to yourself and everybody will be able to see it. Remember the exact time that you choose or um, your exact start and end time, just make sure that if, you know, just it can be six to eight, say if it's um, out of normal working hours, uh, six to eight is totally fine. And then maybe the next day when you work on is eight to 10, you know, don't worry about having the exact time. We're not worried about the time, just, you know, just dispatch it to yourself and have it close enough to the time. I mean, you might, you might create and dispatch yourself um, a couple calls, just, you know, just space them out a little bit. Maybe the next one you make at, I did, I did one that's 145, 245. Maybe the next one you do, it's three to four, you know, or five to six. Just space them out a little bit. Um, you don't want to have any conflicts if you can help it. Now we're going to go to actions and you'll see start travel. And there you go. That's how you do a self dispatch when uh, we're not in normal working hours. Thank you very much. And drive safe.